But the big story in Action News is the ongoing investigation into a deadly multi vehicle crash in South Jersey. Family now tells Action News one of the victims killed was eight months pregnant. Action News reporter Brianna Smith joins us live from Egg Harbor Township with much more. Brianna. Yes, Walter, just a devastating incident. The crash happened in this section on Black Horse Pike. You can see some of the police tape that was left behind. Now, police say two young women died as well as an unborn child and seven people were injured. And we spoke to a nurse who says she jumped in to save people who were trapped in a vehicle. It was chaotic. Um, no one was sure what to do. Egg Harbor Township Police responded to Black Horse Pike in front of the O St. Joseph Hotel just after 815 Friday night. Police say a silver Nissan Sentra was driving westbound when it veered into the eastbound lanes and struck a Kia Forte in a head on collision. Police say the strong impact pushed the Kia backwards into a red Nissan Sentra. A fourth vehicle was struck by debris from one of the cars. Police say after the collision, the silver Nissan caught on fire and Several witnesses tried to get the passengers to safety. Lisa Bonanno was one of them. There were some men that were there that were the real heroes. They really pulled, they got everybody out. They had trouble getting the last one out. So what I did is I tried to move them away from the car because it was very rapidly it was going to blow. As a result of the crash, police say the driver of the Kia, 21 year old Escarlin Suriel, died. Her family provided us with this photo and says she was eight months pregnant with her second baby girl. Suriel's husband, 27 year old Francisco Nin Ferreras, was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Police say an occupant in the silver Nissan also died, 22 year old Gabriela Constantino. Two juvenile passengers in that vehicle were rushed to the hospital in critical condition, while 25 year old Kenneth Jones. Jones has serious injuries. Police say two people in the red Nissan and a bystander who stepped in to help also went to the hospital with injuries. And most of the victims remain in the hospital at this time. In the meantime, we're working to learn more about what led up to that crash. Police, as well as the Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office, are investigating at this time. Live in Egg Harbor Township, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Walter. Okay, Brianna, thank you.